Hello, this is Max Strategist, and in this video I'm going to show you a three card interlocking puzzle sculpture. This is it right here. I created it about a year ago, and it's just these three cards with slots that interlock into this puzzle. So in this video I am going to show you how to create three cards into each puzzle piece, and then I will show you how to put the puzzle together. So here are the tools and materials you need to create each puzzle piece. First, you need three identical sized cards. They should be about the same size as regular playing cards. You'll need a pencil, a ruler, a cutting device, whether it is scissors or an X-Acto knife. I'd prefer the X-Acto knife because you are probably going to get a cleaner cut, and a cutting surface. There are a few warnings. First, sharp tools are required for this project, so if you need help, please ask for assistance. Also, we'll be damaging cards, so don't use anything that's valuable. So now I will show you how to create each puzzle piece. Generally, you have a card, and you're going to cut two slots into it. That's just about it. So first, you need to make a few marks on the back side of the card. The marks are going to be 17 millimeters from the bottom and from the top on each side. So we'll do that real quick. Move these off to the side. 17 millimeters. All right, we have four marks. Now we need to draw lines for the slots. The first long slot, which is going to be coming from the bottom, is going to be two and a half inches long. So on the inches side, you line it up. This distance should be three and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So two and a half, the slot is two and a half, yep, okay. All right, now the smaller slot is the same distance of the missing link between these two. So this is three quarters of an inch, so the other slot's going to be three quarters of an inch. So line it up on the two dots and three quarters of an inch. So you would do that with all three cards and then you would cut out the slot. Since this is paper, it doesn't really need a slot like these. These cuts are about a millimeter wide. That's because the card stock is fairly thick on the cards, and it wouldn't interlock smoothly. They interlock by going like this. But since it's paper and paper is relatively thin, I'm just going to cut a slot into it. Also with the cards, I would suggest using an X-Acto knife. You would get a cleaner cut with that than with scissors. So you basically do that with all three cards, and then you would need to double check by putting them together. So I'll cut the other slots into these other cards, well, cards, and we'll see if they fit together nicely. Alright, so we have our three pieces, then just make sure that they fit together well. So, intersect one with the other, and what should happen is that for this top piece up here, this part should meet up with the dot that we made on the back. So that should meet up right there, and it does. Likewise on the bottom, that should meet up, and it does. So that's how we know our cuts 
or do the correct length. So you just do that with all three of them. Make sure they're all right. Ooh, yeah, this one's all right. And then just tweak it until you have it how you like it. All right, so here's how you put the puzzle together. First, you take one card, you take another card, and put it together like this. Then you take the third card, and you have this long slot go into the other short slot of the second card. While you're doing that, the edges of the third card should be going into the long slots of the first card. So that goes in. Let me make sure that goes in. So both of those are in. And before it goes too far, have the second card lock into the third card. So this is most of the way through. Now you just need to get this notch in through here. So you're going to loosen up the second card just a little bit. Then it's going to bend just a little bit until you can get that notch in. And the notch is complete. Then you make sure all of these top notches are good. Then double check for all the bottom notches and they're all good. So that's how you put it together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project and thank you for watching. Thank you.